Hi everyone, this is Brad Wood. Today I'm going to show you how to take a traditional command box based server and set it up in Windows as a Windows service so it will start automatically when you reboot the computer. I get questions about this quite a bit and this is ideal for people who want to start using command box uh, for production use or even just for development servers they want to always have running. We're going to use a tool called NSSM, which is free and open source. It stands for the Non-Sucking Service Manager. There's a few other paid versions of tools like Firebase that do this, uh, but this is one you can go download uh, today really easily. So let me show you the server we're going to use. Here in this directory, I've just dumped a cold box template to give us something pretty to look at, and I've configured a server.json. If we check out the contents of this, the server show, you can see that I've just uh, enabled rewrites, I've set an HTTP port of 8085, I have a heap size of one gig, and I've told it that I wanted to use Lucy. Um, you can set this up however you want, but this is going to be uh, the nice and easy way that we can refer to this server to start it. So the way that we create the service is uh, download this NSSM tool, uh, domains nssm.cc, you can go to the download page. I've been using the latest release, which is right here. It's only a few kilobytes. I have it extracted already into this folder. So inside the folder they have a Win32 and a Win64. I've been using the 64-bit and all it is is this little tiny exe file, 300k. You will want to keep this file around in a permanent location so I would go ahead and move this under you know program files or somewhere uh, where it won't get deleted accidentally. Don't just leave it in your downloads folder. If you double click it you'll just get this little pop-up right here that says hey these are all the options you can do. You'll want to use this from the command line to set it up. This is very easy to use and uh, you can also fully script it if you want to automate this stuff. We're just going to create a service manually which would be very easy to do. So we're going to run nssm install and then the name of the service we want to create. Um, since this is a Lucy server I'll do Lucy and then I'll do service test. Okay that gives us this little GUI window that just popped up over my other monitor and there's only really two pieces of information we need for this guy to work. The first one is the path to command box so here's where my box.exe lives on my computer. Uh, it doesn't really matter what your startup directory is, we're going to use a, an absolute path here. So the arguments are going to be exactly what you would type from command box. Server space start, and then we're going to use the server config file parameter. This allows you to start a server by just pointing command box at the server.json file and saying, hey, I want you to go start this server right here. Go and open up. Oops up our current working directory so let me grab this path to my clipboard and we're going to paste that in c colon sandbox windows service slash server.json and there's one more important piece and that's the dash dash console we want this to run as a console app and if you don't add that the server will start but it won't stop properly okay so that's basically it we have the path to box.exe server start server config file equals path to our server.json and then hyphen hyphen console we click install service and we're done. Come over here to our Windows services, hit refresh, and let's see here. Where did I name this guy? Element OP. There we go. He was hiding right there in plain view. Lucy server test. So this is a regular service. We have all the options that you have for normal services, automatic start, who do you want it to log on with. Uh, don't check this interactive desktop, you'll get some really funky stuff, at least on Windows 7 you do. Uh, it's not necessary. So we can go ahead and start the service up just like we would a normal service now. Uh, there's a couple things that won't happen since this is running uh, a little bit differently than how command box servers normally run. You won't get the system tray icon and you won't get any browsers automatically popping up. But the server will start. We can see uh, if the server started uh, here in command box the server start command as usual immediately exits um, from your from your Windows services inner, uh, screen right here. However, the service can take a few seconds to start up in the background. So the server is running. I can use the server open command to pop open a, a browser directly from command box. And you can see here's our site running on the server. Uh, once you install a command box uh, server as a Windows service, you're going to want to use that Windows service to start and stop it. If you try to stop it from the CLI, um, Windows is going to be like, oh no, the service died and it's going to start it back up. So if you want it stopped, go ahead and you stop it as a service. So this is super easy to do. Um, I can see it's dead. So NSSM is free, 
as far as I can tell, it works pretty darn good and you can start plugging that in today. Hopefully this gives you guys some ideas for <clears throat> a little bit better deployments on your, on your production servers. Okay, you guys have a great day.